hello everyone i am yash patel and welcome to my channel jango world so in today's video we are going to see validation okay so validations are basically you know needed when we deserialize the data and we are about to save our data in the database but before that what if you want to check that uh, our name field do not should not match to our uh, you know blog description field i hope that makes sense but uh, if i show you in vs code first of all just comment this old serializer and comment this new serializer i mean model serializer okay comment this uh, simple serializer and uncomment this model serializer which we created before okay so save this now here what if you want to you know validate this name and description so our blog title should not match to our description at that time we need to perform validation and this validation which we will create will be triggered when this is valid will be called okay so when this if case will be called at that time it will trigger that function which we are going to create in this serializer and it will validate the data and if error occurs then it is not going to save the data okay so there are three type of validation first is field level validation second is object level validation and third is validators okay so field level validation okay so this will you know basically check a particular field so let's say if i want to check um this name then what i need to do is i need to create function okay and write this validate underscore a particular field name in our case it will be name and then we can write this parenthesis and inside that we need to pass self value and in this function we need to write cases for our validation okay so let's do field level valid validation first so here i'll say def but before that i'll say field level validation i'll just copy that paste over here and i'll say validate validate underscore name and here i'll say self and value because we need value of this name okay any name after this underscore it will check the field so you must write correctly okay then hit enter and here i will say if um value not value so i want to check length so i'll say length of value is less than four okay then just raise serializers dot validation error and inside this i'll pass message that uh, blog title is very short okay and in else we will just return value okay let's check this validation first so let's go to uh, rapid api and here i will try to make post request so here i will say as okay so i'm i'm just writing three character block title and if i click on send okay server is not running send then you can see i got validation error that block title is very short okay so this validation is working perfectly fine okay so this is field level validation now let's see object level validation now this object level validation is used when you need to check more than one or two fields okay so here if i say def now here before you know for single field we were writing 
function i mean validate and a field name but here we don't need to do that we need to pass this validate itself and here it will take self and it will take data okay here we are not taking particular field value here we are taking whole data so it will take data as an argument and here if i say if mm, data square bracket and in parenthesis i will say name is double equals to data description then i not i need to raise error so i will say serializer raise serializes dot validation error and i will say blog title and description can not be same and if this is not true then i will say else oops else return data okay now let's check this now here again i will pass same info uh, same title so this time i am going to give more than four character um title so i'll say yash patel so this blog is going to be written on yash patel okay i am giving description same and now if i try to send a post request then you can see i got the validation error which says block title and description cannot be same okay so i hope you got idea about this object level validation too okay so now we have last validation which is validator okay so this validator will you know check only individual field so let's say um first i need to comment this okay now um i will write over here name is going to be serializer dot uh, character fill in short i will just copy everything from here and i'll uncomment this okay and uh, here the syntax to write validators is validators okay you need to pass this validators in a particular uh, field so here we are going to pass in name okay which will be equal to in square bracket i need to pass name underscore valid so here we need to create function with this same name okay so i'll copy this name and here above this class i'll create def and i'll paste that name and i will say value okay and i am going to perform this same thing which i perform in validate underscore name i'll uncomment it okay this is going to work as it is now if i copy this thing and i mean if i copy this same thing and write in this description then also it is going to work now you can use this same validator in multiple fields okay so let me go to rapid api again and uh, again i will just decrease this uh, size of this characters in order to check the validator okay now it, if i try to create post request then you can see i got error in both the fields okay because i added this validator in both of these fields okay now if i remove this validator from the description and try to send request then i will get only i will get error only on name field okay 
i hope you got idea about uh, this uh, validate three these three type of validators okay and still if you have any doubt or if you have any suggestions for me to improve my recording skills or any speech skills okay please let me know okay i am new to youtube so yeah i am trying my best to provide best content so if you have any suggestions please let me know if you have any doubt please let me know in comments below i will be more happy to help you so yeah this is it for today's video guys if you like my video please like share and subscribe to my channel and i will see you in the next one thank you